Today we're going to be reviewing these eyeshadows by Make. These are Make's multi-chromatic um, metal reflecting eyeshadow. These are highly pigmented multi-chrome eyeshadows that add luminous color to the eyes with a folded metallic finish. Formulated with special treatment treated uh, meccas, uh, reflective pearls, and conditioning lipids that provide a creamy texture for buildable dimensional eye looks. Swipe onto the eyelids with a finger or brush, blend until your desired look is achieved. Each item is valued around $25. I think it's 100% worth it. I mean, look at how gorgeous this collection is. I'm absolutely stunned. Why is this such nice quality? Like, um, wow. Um, I love that they basically provide a realistic set of swatches. This is almost like a leather-like material. It's not just paper. I love this. You can keep it forever. Um, you get a, a realistic idea of the shimmer. It comes with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve 12 different shades. I have the set that is six shades. Um, which, which shades do I have? <laughs> so I have Onyx. And this literally like it looks unreal in the pan. Um, very beautiful. Glaze. Blaze. Quartz. Purple Haze. And this is Stardust. Now this doesn't give Stardust to me. I wonder why they named it that, but um, I'm sure it's gonna swatch gorgeous. They have their own brushes too. This is their all over shadow brush. Um, feels very high quality, very, has a little weight to it. Um, no plastic here don't think this is going to fall apart or break easily and i i'm giving or i'm seeing natural hair bristles here and then a precision eye smudger brush both of these brushes seem pretty on brand um for the type of eyeshadow looks that you would do for these types of shadow the all over shadow brush um, it's going to evenly distribute the color to the lid area for a seamless product application. You're going to use the brush to either pack and press the shadow onto the lids. So it's going to be a color, it's, it's going to be used when you're kind of using like one color or trying to get a color all over the area um, and like a blurred out look. And then the precision eye smudger, this is dense, a, a dense, this is a dense precision smudge brush. It adds definition to the eye area and along the lash line for diffused smolder looks. Um, you would apply the product to your lash line and blend until the, de the desired look is achieved. Um, and I feel like that's where you see like a combo of shimmers on the eyelids, um, where you know, you may have like a color packed in one area or be like in the center of the main focus or whatever, um, but you may like want to put a specific color in an area and, and smudge that out. This is vegan, cruelty-free, um, paraben-free, flip-taste-free, no other evil peas um, involved. Uh, this is a brand that um, mixes both science and natural products. I knew right away from watching Javon um, Ford on Allure that these were either made with mica or silica. Uh, they are made with mica. They look so pretty, so unreal. Okay, so I really want to just throw every single color all over my lid, but I'm not going to do that because I am going somewhere today, going to the mall, um, whatever. 
and I don't want to experiment too much. Every time I try to do every single color all over the lid, I feel like it turns out looking so crazy, but I still want to do it. I'm still trying to figure out the way to perfect that in a way that I feel like looks good and flattering on me, my eye shape, my skin tone, all that. Um, but since we are doing such like a beautiful, such beautiful colors on our lids, um, I do want to keep the foundation very light. Um, you know, obviously the eyeshadow is the star of the show and it's, and it's already going to pop. Um, and I don't want to do too much. Crazy enough, my pants are like similar colors that I have um, in my kit. So maybe I'll do something inspired by that. Kind of like a like a reptile type feel. I think I might use a combo of Stardust, Onyx, and do I have, is it Glaze? Um, maybe some Glaze. But yeah, and shit, I, <laughs> at this point I might as well just put all the colors on my lid. And we're going in bra, no primer. Starting off with quartz. Okay, so I thought I had gleam, but this is quartz. I kind of feel like this is gonna do well without primer um, because of how it's formulated. But I'm a little scared. I'm a little scared to get carried away. Um, anytime you know you be you're you're taught not to put shimmer in the the crease, and anytime I do get too close to the crease or like it's slightly out of place anywhere or on the brow bone, I it, it starts to become like a very oily, um, greasy look, and I hate that. But it works for some people. I love the way it looks on hooded lids for some reason, but it never, and like mono lids, but I feel like it never hits the same for me. We're not doing any mattes. We might, we might throw a matte in a crease, but we're going to try not to. We're going to challenge ourselves and yeah. We're doing stardust in the inner corner with the smudge brush. I want it to be like halo eye, but I I want to attempt to create some type of sharpness to it. I don't want it to be I don't want it to be halo shape, but I do want it to be like halo combo. Okay, we're getting somewhere. I'm loving the way it's applying. Tell me that isn't gorgeous. What? Too pretty. You already know what. Whoop. You already know what time it is. It's onyx in the outer corner. I'm dragging onyx into the crease a little bit. I'm doing a little bit of glaze on the brow bone. Okay. Now that I've done the rest of my makeup, I'm going to go ahead and dab a little bit of glaze mm, right, right, right in the middle. I love how these like, they're so pigmented you can cover up on top of like the other one. You don't have to worry about it mixing unless you really like want it to blend together. Kind of along the lash line. Okay, okay, it's a giving reptile, it's a giving crocodile. Okay, I'm going to also drag purple haze. it a little more down before I blend this color before I blend um, onyx a little more inward here and then 
um, start, stardust. I'll drag it probably a little bit more inward and then add, um, what is this again? Glaze, just right in the middle and the bottom as well. All right, let me add some lashes, finish the rest of my makeup, and I'll be right back. I definitely think uh, these eyeshadows are worth $25 because um, of just like the material and the formulation. It's so beautiful. Um, very pigmented. One swatch is all it's going to take. Blends out beautifully. Um, you can layer it easily. So um, whether you're wanting it to like completely cover a color and stand out, or if you're wanting it to blend into another color, you can easily do that. Um, Non-irritating, completely organic. It, it doesn't get any better than this. And I thoroughly enjoyed, you know, playing with these eyeshadows. I hope you enjoy the look. Thanks for watching. Bye.